Well, well, pub to find customers who mention the royal wedding on Saturday. The Alexandra Hotel in Derby has banned any mention at all of Harry and Meghan's nuptials on Saturday and will find those who talk about it. The landlady Anna Dyson also fined people back in 2011 for chatting about the then Prince William and Catherine's wedding nuptials, eventually raising £400 from the ban, money which she donated fully towards a cancer charity. Meanwhile, posters had been placed around the pub showing the royal couple with red crosses through their faces. The posters read, Royal Wedding Free Zone. Please refrain from discussing the royal wedding. We're not interested in it. Let's talk about beer or the weather instead or something more interesting. Anyone who mentions it will put money in a box with the collection going to the Nightingale Cancer Unit at the Royal Derby Hospital. Miss Dyson said, It isn't the regulars who got caught out the last time we did this seven years ago during William and Kate's nuptials. It's mainly people who pop into my pop the first time. The wedding idea come from the regulars for William and Kate's wedding, and this one is the same. The regulars came in and said they are sick of hearing about it. So we banned it, and by golly, it's a damn good way of raising money for charity, that's for sure. Having said that, don't get me wrong, I'm not anti-royalist, but if money can be made for charity from this, I see it as a good turnabout. Ha ha ha! Well, well, well! I'm sure that Harry and Meghan themselves didn't want all the pomp and fuss. They are a very simplistic, quiet couple. So, Mrs. Anne Dyson, I forgive you, together with millions of others, I'm sure. Ha, ha, ha! More funny stories, please! Please! Ha! Dying for sex! Frantic mating is driving Australian marsupials to extinction! Two species of marsupial whose males die after marathon sex sessions have been put on Australia's endangered list. But oh, no, 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 no! It's not the kangaroos and wallaby species of marsupial that are under threat. It's the newly discovered antechinous rodent species of marsupial that's being referred to here. In fact, scientists from Queensland University of Technology say biologists are racing against the clock to save the species from extinction. The black-tailed dusky antechinous and the silver-headed antechinous, both discovered in 2013, are known for their suicidal mating habits. Ha! I've known a few human beings like that, actually, too. <laughs> Sex sessions lasting up to 40 hours are the main contribution to the marsupial species' fate alongside climate change, habitat loss, and rival pests. Andrew Baker, mammalogist at Queensland University, said, They're so frantic and try and get from one mate to another. And the mating itself can last for hours, so it's very tiring. The males all go from absolute prime health to falling to pieces before your very eyes within the annual frenzy. Two solid weeks of mating at the end of the winter. They get totally exhausted by these marathon sessions whilst all the time trying to hang on to so many female mates and find off so many rivals that they eventually end up producing lethal levels of testosterone. Ha <laughs> ha! I reiterate, I know a few human beings like that too. Unfortunately, 
the arm of life of testosterone stops a stress hormone from switching itself off. And that stress hormone eventually destroys their organs and eventually kills them. They're totally like the walking dead towards the end of it. If you're mindful, you'll often see them stumbling around during the day. They are nocturnal creatures mostly, night creatures. Even then, still looking for mates whilst bleeding from various parts of their body and mostly their hairs falling out too. The population of these marsupials was ten times bigger just a few decades ago. The females have a lifespan of about two years, with half of them breeding once only, giving birth to between six and fourteen sprogs. That said and done, the males usually die before their first birthday. Ha ha ha! I know what you're all thinking out there, ladies. No side reaction hormone from sex ever killed a testosterone filled, cheating, lying, human scumbag of a guy. Or even made his hair fall out. Eh? More's the pity. Ha ha ha!